While out and about on her rudimentary cart, Hilma happened upon a cave. Two, in actual fact. One that contained a new ally, and the other, a potential ally. A person in need. Seemingly suffering from asthma, Hilma agreed to help. With the knowledge of the plants she's gained so far, she knows that a nice hot tea made from spurge flowers would help alleviate symptoms. It's unclear to her whether this new person has just arrived in this world or if they've been here for a while. With most, Hilma assumed they must have arrived the same time she did. Yet perhaps that is not the case. It is difficult to track time here after all. And she's yet to find someone that still has a working watch. Maybe this new person does. But that would tell her little more than the time. What she would need is a cell phone, a PDA of some kind. But for that, she'd have to be very lucky. And be it luck or not, Hilma has stumbled upon what she needs. Spurge. And it's with that we shall begin. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Cataclysm in a wood where we really have not gone that far from the cave. Like, it's, it's not far at all. Here we have Spurge Flower, a yellow green flower that grows in densely packed bushes. This is what we are after. This is what we need to be able to make this tea. And I honestly don't know how much we're going to need. We got two Spurge Flowers from that. If we just have a look at the Spurge Tea again, we just need two flowers. I think it's probably worth making a decent batch of the stuff before we give that to our friend here. Cheryl, that was her name, Cheryl, Cheryl Penderson. Okay, well Cheryl, we are gonna continue back home. I'm gonna keep my eye out for Spurge Flowers along the way, but we should be able to return by the afternoon, as it's only early morning still. Ah, oh, and really not that far at all, we have discovered even more Spurge. Very good. And more here, but that's guarded by wasps, so we'll let them have it. Yeah, this is a relatively common flower, it seems. Good to know. Jeez, what Bran Owen would have done for that knowledge back in the Mega City. Although, finding Spurge flowers in a Mega City, not so easy to do just found like three bushes so I feel like that's probably all that we're going to need. Daytora here. Sugar beet. Ha. Ah. And daddy lion. Yeah so there are different plant types than what we have had in the past and I'm kind of tempted to just go in and pick a few of them while we're out and about because there's a chance that we could get seeds. And we're back at our pathway where we're just going to be dragging the travois along with Ryan accompanying us. Here we go. We have arrived back in one piece. We'll be letting go of that there. We'll be grabbing onto Ryan. Uh, but we have a few things that we want to just take out the back. First of all, adjustable wrenches and everything else that we accidentally brought along with us. And for some reason, hmm, I'm not sure why that is. We, we seem to be getting moderate pain just from dragging things around and oh Ryan, 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 this is why we can't, this is why we can't bring you anywhere my friend. <laughs> Let's mount up, stop trampling things please and thank you. Let's head back in and we should have some spurge flowers on us. But we're just going to get Ryan dealt with and then we are going to just check in on our crew as well and just see where they're at. We haven't actually been out for all that long, so I think their projects will still be ongoing currently. Okay. Um, right. <laughs> We've just finished sorting everything out. Um, just seen something here. We have early onset scurvy. So that could be why we are getting uh, pain. And indeed, it does say rare pain and, and sleepiness. We are tired currently as well. So we need some vitamin C. Uh, we'll be lacking it for a little while. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we do we do have some pemmican. I believe we might still have some dried berries. We will go and, we will go and check that. What was that? There was something just over the top of us for a moment then. Some kind of indicator. Could have been indicating that we were suffering from pain. Yeah, not 100% on that. I think we've just got the dehydrated vegetables. Yeah, well, it's easy enough for us to get some vitamin C, some much needed vitamin C. Um, before we do any cooking or anything else like that, I think we are just gonna go outside 
and just find a fruit bush of some kind. I mean, look, we've got some just right up here. So we'll get the blackberries. We'll go and get the blueberries. We should have some elderberries around here as well. Get the strawberries, excellent. Uh, we're just gonna go and just fill ourselves up on the <laughs> numerous berries that are here because uh, yeah, we've, we've needed this for a little while. <laughs> I have been lax in our vitamin intake. We're going to want to make sure that we have a fair amount of those going forwards. Oh, it was our temperature gauge. We were just kind of covering it. We're just feeling very warm at the moment. Sure. Right, with that all done, let's see how we're looking. So it is done with the smithing for now. And they've got four hours left on their crafting. Okay. So Ed returns with 100 nails. Thank you, Ed, much appreciated. So next up for him is going to be the pliers. That's what we need to upgrade our workshop. Let's just use some of the scrap metal. Plastic is, well, I was gonna say plastic is still hard to get, but it isn't really. We've got lots of chitin. It's just a bit of a process to make it. So we have the adjustable wrench. We've got the pliers. We just need the steel chains now. The water faucet, we will need that too. I don't think we can make that here. So that's something that Hilma is probably gonna to have to make herself, but we're gonna get back to that. We have someone that we need to save. Oh, and did our friend make it back? Is there any way for us to see? He could still be traveling here at the moment. Yeah, so let's just see, assigned workers. I don't see anyone new there. Yeah, I really hope that he did make it back. Our pretty friend that we met outside of a cave could just still be out there somewhere. I mean, it wasn't too much of a journey back, right? Because he was from this cave here. Hmm. I mean, any journey is going to be dangerous, but that was a little bit more straightforward. Helm is very fast on her travoir, so I'm sure, I'm sure he's still just traveling back. Right. Time to get on to tea making. So let's have a look. We are going to go for a spurge tea and we can make it. Okay, so how much do we want to make here? We want maybe six portions. I feel like that's a decent amount. We'll use that. Uh, put our pike down for now. And of course that's going to make us very warm. Ignore the pain for now. And we're going to pour that into a sealed stomach, which I suppose we're going to be giving that away as well. Unless, yeah, we'll give it to one of these ones. Yeah, there we go. And we'll grab that sealed stomach. Okay, that should be everything we need. We're dead tired now, and I think that is, that's really coming from uh, the early onset scurvy, which we aren't seeing right now. Whoa, we're seeing lots of things. Yeah, no, early scurvy. Still there. Yeah, um, we're, we're gonna go hard on the vitamin C for, for a little while. Do we want to sleep now? Well, I think we're actually going to extinguish this fire to start with because it's going to be way too warm in here. We've got the spurge tea. Driving while tired, not a good idea. Elliot can tell you that. So we're just going to have some nice water and then look at um, having a sleep. We can see that our intake plenty of vitamin C, so that'll start to help. It'll just take uh, time to bounce back. There we go. We're in distracting pain right now. We're gonna try and rest and then we'll, we'll check in on our folks once we wake up. Oh, okay, our scurvy has resolved. Well, that's good to know. Uh, we're gonna continue trying to fall asleep though because we are dead tired, but we just, we can't, we can't fall asleep even though we are dead tired. Um, is it because we keep on getting into pain? Scurvy has resolved again. Uh, okay, looks like we've actually fallen asleep this time. Well, apparently we're feeling much better this morning. I hope that is the case. We're actually not gonna have anything to eat from here to begin with. We are going to do that uh, outside. We're gonna do some more berry gathering. And that's something that we can actually get our friends to do. We can send them out to forage and they should be able to get berries just fine now. But first thing this morning, we're just gonna, we're gonna go and check on the pony. Pony, you made it. He actually made it. That's fantastic. Hey, let's um, <laughs> let's have a bit of a chat. Um, please come with us. Let's see. Talk for a bit. Yeah, let's see. Mind if we just chat about your history? What do you want to talk about? Can I ask you what happened? Well, I was 
relaxing with some other people when I heard everyone was supposed to run to the hills. So I went to a cave nearby. That cave got too crowded and people were waiting to get taken further out, but no one ever came to take them. You must already know all about that. I turned into panic and then fighting. I didn't stick around to see what happened next. I headed into the woods. I went back a few days later, but the place was totally abandoned. No idea what happened to all those people. And then... Well, I ended up here. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Ask about... Or talk to you about something else. Huh. What was the cataclysm like for you? Oh, yes. I, I, I see. I see. Uh, moving on. Any idea how we ended up here in this mess? I gotta be honest with you. I heard a lot of stories back at the cave. And only one of them really stuck. This is some kind of magic experiment gone wrong. I don't know what caused the riots and the undead in the first place, but there's no way it's this out of control everywhere. Yeah, I heard the same scary stories as everyone, but it it doesn't make sense that it could be so widespread so fast. I think we're in some kind of exclusion zone where they're letting whatever is going on run its course to see how it works so that they can fight it better next time. Somewhere out there, outside the zone, it's more or less business as usual. <clears throat> interesting. Very interesting. Maybe Pony is onto something, but rather than things happening in an exclusion zone, a physical space, maybe it's something more temporal. Hmm? All right. And we finished chatting. We actually did just a little bit of general chatting at the end there. And let's see, did that affect your mood at all? Hey, enjoy the conversation. Well, Pony, it's, uh, it's good to have you here. I'm sure we're going to be able to, to put you to use. Let's have a look at your abilities again. And just see where you're at. Survival is actually pretty high. I'd like to see that. Fabrication is not super great, but could be could be worse he's 27 years of age he's got bad knees a fructose intolerance so eating fruits not going to be so good for him and he's a and he's a hoarder but an optimist that's that's something that we need and the strong stomach is definitely going to help and hey being pretty i'm sure Hilmer is happy to have some eye candy well walker let's see we're going to check in with everyone else first. Um, okay, all the crafting is done, so Walker's going to get to meet everybody else. Walker or Pony? I mean, Pony is his nickname. <laughs> you know what? Pony. Pony it is. Ed's back from the smithing. We've got our pliers there as well, which is fantastic. Okay, so I think the first thing that we're going to do before anything else... Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about our friend with asthma. We are going to go and help Cheryl out. But we're just going to get everyone doing menial labor first of all, just to get the stuff sorted out. I think it must be interesting for the others because, you know, um, Pony is in normal clothes. The clothes that he had on his back when he ended up in this place. Okay, and the others are back at this point. So, let's have a look again and see where we're at. So I still need to drop the adjustable wrench down there. We should have the nails. Um... We made an additional 100 then again i did make or rather i used some nails so we might want to make another 100 at the very least if not more we're just gonna say two for now and looks like walker is the one for the job okay hop to it walker that's gonna give him some more fabrication skills so i am happy with that i'd love to be able to make some more chain but yeah we need a a large amount of steel to be able to do that so I don't see us being able to upgrade until we have managed to bring back a whole heap of hematite. And yes, I know that is the saying. <laughs> we can upgrade our stables further, but right now I don't think we need to worry about that. It would be nice to be able to put a coop in, and it looks like all that we're really missing for this, oh, is, is wire. We just need 20 wires to be able to get that going. Do we have enough to be able to do that? Yeah, actually we do. We've got 26 scrap metal. So we'll say 20 wires, and we're going to send Ramshackle 
to work on that. As for the others, getting them to harvest some berries would be would be good. Um, I think what I want to try and do, I think we've got a weapon down here. Yeah, two copper spears. So we'll just wield one of those spears as we're going to want to try and give that to our friend Gerald here. I don't want to send them out without weapons. We want to make sure that they're protected because there's something out there that's taking people. So let's say, use this item please, copper spear. Fantastic. Now, did you drop your mysterious item that you've been hiding from us this entire time? Nope. So I don't know what he was wielding. <laughs> right, so we want to go gather materials. Uh, it's just really acorns and stuff like that, huh? Forage for plants. Yeah, wild vegetables, fruits and nuts depending on the season. We can send three of them to do this and that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay. That is the team. Nice and busy, and they're going to be busy for a wee while. They need at least four hours, but we can call them back sooner. Um, we'll leave them out there for a good long while. Everyone else is going to be busy. Well, that's a good thing, Hilma. So, let's just have a little bit of walk around, find some berries, first of all. And then we are going to go and deliver this nice warm tea. I feel sorry for poor Hilma's digestive system. <laughs> after all this time and yeah not fun you know sometimes you just end up working on a project and you keep on working and keep on working and you don't really think about taking proper care of yourself do you yeah we're gonna take those strawberries that should be enough to see us through we're gonna go jump back onto the travois with ryan and we're gonna hit the road i do feel sad that ryan doesn't have a friend up here this lien downstairs that we can bring up and i think we will try to do that somewhere down the line but getting lien out of where they're at at the moment is not easy uh, just because there's lots of dinosaurs around and they can't move past each other yeah it's a bit of a trick to get that to work okay so let's grab a hold of you grab grab let's see if we can spin it around and you let's try and get you close enough that we can get this set up you know, I think the easiest thing to do is just mount up, uh, jump off, and then harness. There we go. Let's get a moving. Now, I will keep in mind that we are <laughs> running with reduced sight lines at the moment, which I know is how we've gotten into trouble in the past, especially, you know, Hilma only has, well, she doesn't have the pike with her. She's got her iron shod quarterstaff. We've got some firearms, but yeah, we, are, we have safe mode on. I am going as cautiously as I can, believe me. Okay, we are coming up on the location now. We're going to start to slow down. Ryan, you're just going to have to chill out here for now. Don't fight the woodlouse. Okay, there we go. Um, what we might do is mount you for a second there, Ryan, and we're just going to tie you up here, just so that he's not tied to the trav wire itself. Okay, we have our tea. We're going to start to make our way up here. Um, there might be resources in the bottom of this cave, for all we know, because we haven't actually had a look inside. Kind of out of respect for Cheryl. But Cheryl, let's see what we got going on. <clears throat> Hope that all will be well. Are you asleep in here somewhere? Doesn't look like you're asleep. Okay, let's uh, talk. Find any tea yet mission success i don't know what else to say here try this drink it slowly it should still be a little warm we give cheryl peterson a spurge tea oh thank god i'll be right as rain in no time look i'm i'm glad to help you don't need to worry about giving anything to me bye well let's not just go with bye for now if Cheryl is going to stand a chance out here, I think she'd stand a much better chance at Camp Hope. Let's see what she's got going on at the moment. She's wearing flip-flops, funnily enough, but she does have a long scarf, a hunting cap, a fast draw holster, a leather backpack, a game watch. So there might actually be a little bit more information on there about time and potential dates. I mean, obviously, that's going to be the time and date of when Cheryl was taken, or at least the local time, unless she's adjusted it here. Who knows? Who, who knows? We 
can't make assumptions there. Uh, but she does have a lighter. She's got five items in her pants. We don't know what those are. But yeah, Cheryl, let's just have a little bit of a chat to you. Hey there, friend. Look, um, we have somewhere that's safe. It's camp. There's a group of people there. We're all survivors who ended up in this place. You want to come along? Why? Why should I? Well, we're friends, aren't we? I helped you, and I can do that better if I don't have to come all the way out here to this cave. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Been stubborn. Awesome. Okay, so first of all, let's see. What do you got going on here ability-wise? Interestingly enough, also 27 years old. Fantastic intelligence, perception, and dexterity. Really nice. Disease resistance. Stylish. Asthmatic, heavy sleeper with poor hearing. Okay. Um, let's just have a look at the rest of her skills. Her archery... Whoa! Okay, her archery skill and her marksmanship and rifle skill, really good. So much so that I think we'd be able to learn quite a few different um, recipes from her. Crafting recipes. That is... Ooh, I like that. Yeah, no, she's a fighter. Piercing weapons, melee... She has done some surviving, from what we can see. Ah, and speaking of that, five survival. If we can get her fabrication a little bit higher, she'll be able to dig out the root cellar for the group at Camp Hope. Ten social skill. Who were you before the fall? Healthcare as well, computers, athletics. Yeah, she is... Damn, that's impressive. All right, Cheryl. Um, let's just, let's have a chat. Um, talk for a bit. Mind if we talk about your history? How you came to, to be here? Sure. Why do you want to talk about the cataclysm? What was it like for you? Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I had a life. Everyone died. Boo-hoo. I gotta be straight with you, though. I honestly think I like this better fighting for survival every day I've never felt so alive I've killed hundreds of those bastards sooner or later one of them will take me out but I'll go down knowing I, I did something actually important it's good that you've found your calling could help a lot of people that way I could use people like you I think let's um Let's go. I'm going to point you in the right direction. Bye, she says. And I think it probably would be best if she stuck with us for now. As to getting her back, we could tell her to mount up on Ryan and follow us along and we just pull the travoir. That is entirely possible, but it depends on how much stuff is here. So let's um, tell you first of all to wake up. You are awake. Okay, that's good. Um... Are you following us at the moment? Let's go. I'm pretty sure that you are. Okay, fantastic. And that is the way down. So let's be prepared. We're going to draw out the quarterstaff just in case. We don't know what Cheryl's got going on in her basement here. And it's a bear. It's a bear. And there are definitely resources here. But there's a black bear. There's a black bear downstairs, Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Um, okay. So the black bear isn't necessarily going to automatically attack us. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> we could light the candle. That's not going to be enough to kind of scare it away. We could try and just uh, shout at it. Yell. It's just very close to us right now. Powerful claws and jaws. It sure as hell does have those things. It's ignoring us though. It's not, it's not hungry right now. It's not feeling aggressive. I would hate to just go down here and shoot this thing in the face. This majestic creature. We've got no need to do it. We've got food. We've got everything. Most individuals are shy around humans, but they're fiercely protective of their cubs. I would just love to be able to move past you, my friend. Um, the only other way that we could make this work is if we could somehow tame it. And I honestly don't know if you can tame big bears like that. That would be super cool, because then that would be Cheryl could just ride back on a bear. If anything, I think it would be maybe like dog food that we would feed them. 
Um, could we even make dog food out here? We can we can definitely still hear a noise, huh? Are you gonna move away from there? Let's just let's just see. I mean, you kind kinda are, kinda aren't. Oh, yeah, just keep on going, keep on going, buddy. There you go. Just one. Yeah, that's it. All right, Cheryl, just stay nice and close. Oh boy. Oh, we're in for a treat, aren't we? Chunks of hematite. Ah, oh, yes, very good. <laughs> very, very good. Okay, so I think the easiest thing for us to do here is going to be just collating everything. So just gather it on up and just hope that that bear does not turn on us. Please, bear, just be be kind, be friendly. We are not your enemies. Yes, we're stealing your rocks, but, you know, it, this is fine. Oh, there, we do have bones over there. Okay, there's, there's actually a fair bit of stuff down here. Anything of use up the top? Doesn't doesn't look like it, no. That's a glass shard. No, it's zincite, I see. Okay, just keep on gathering that up. Is that some sinew? No, it's plant fiber. Okay. Grabbing those chunks. We'll check up this way now. Okay, clear up there. So... Let's grab the hematite from here. Um, six chunks. Very good. That's a decent amount of metal that we've got from that. Do we want to bring the coal? It's pretty voluminous, more so than the hematite. I think we'll just stick with the hematite for now. And we are going to mark this cave as explored. The explored caves, I know that there are still resources at them, but just not the, the hematite that we're after. So if and when we want resources, we can always pop our heads back here. But for now, the hematite will come with us, and that's going to make our crafting just so much better going forwards. As we know, we're going to need a lot of steel to be able to make those chains. Right, so let's see what we can do here. We want to try and put that hematite on the back of here. I think we might even be able to fit some of that into our pack. And we can tell you to mount up, can't we, Cheryl? Let's just say mount up and ha 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 ha. Excellent. Far out. That is super cool. Okay, Cheryl. I'd like for us to stick together. We're going to make our way back with what we've got so far. We're just going to put the quarter staff away. And it looks like we can make this oh can we make this work we just need to straighten this out without cheryl being uh in the way okay okay there we go it can work it's just it's just a little difficult with this um just leave me alone for a second i wonder if i can tell you to just follow a little bit more of a distance it's possible temporarily move farther from me if you need to just because uh this is this is a little a little extreme i'll be I'll be honest, um, you're making it very difficult for me to do this. And it's just because this is quite long. Oh, 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 I see. You're trying to jump. I I understand. Yeah, so she's trying to jump onto the travois while we're on it. I wonder if you could maybe just ride on the back. Hmm, maybe. Let's just push you away for a second or swap positions. Nope, can't do it. Oh, because we're grabbing onto it. Okay, let's let go of it for a moment harness you there what if we just jump onto here no <laughs> no that won't work um and we know that the whistling only works a little bit like if we if we whistle for ryan to follow we could always point cheryl in the right direction i mean pony made it in one piece and cheryl is a hell of a fighter what we'll do though we've still got the flintlock pistol we'll give her the flintlock pistol so that she's got something. Um, so let's have a chat. There's something I want you to do. I want you to use this item. And we're going to give you this flintlock pistol. Because you've got some good rifle skill and whatnot. And now we are going to talk to you about the camp. Please go to this location. Camp Hope. Affirmative. Okay. Um, and there we go. She is off. Please be safe, Cheryl. Please. Um, okay. I would like to get on top. Oh, we can actually see where you are. And I think we're eventually going to lose sight of you once you make it out of our reality bubble. Um, I'd like to try and see if we can climb on top of this cave. That would be great if we can. Uh, it is around midnight right now. I don't know what the actual time is. Ryan, just chill there for a moment. We're going to see if we can maybe do some climbing. 
And we now have the freedom to explore a little bit further, but we probably want to do so when it's actually daylight and we can see what's going on. Um, so, first thing that we want to try and check out is that down point. We want to see if we can climb from there. Hello, bunny. Let's have a look at you. So, oh, we can. There we go. Oh, whoa. Hang on. Why is half the cave missing? Or is that... That's beneath us, right? So if we just go peek... Half of the cave doesn't have a roof. Interesting. Weird. Very, very weird. Okay, uh, I don't know how long it's going to be until sunrise. We could just say wait until daylight. See how long that's going to take. Okay, we're tired, so maybe we'll just try and sleep. Because we're comfortable right now. Yep. We're just sleeping on top of a cave. Oh, and shivering eventually wakes us up there. We've got a gentle breeze going on at the moment. We can see the bunny moving down beneath us there. I was going to say, I hope that Ryan is all right. We're just going to sit on the roof of the cave here, just eating our strawberries. And Hilma, Hilma's happy. People, it's been such a long time since she's been around this many people. It's good. Feels right. Let's wait again until daylight. And here we go. We can just start to get the first of the day. And we're going to have our site expand as that goes on. So we're just going to wait until that, uh, that light is nice and bright. So we'll probably just wait another half hour. And then see what we're looking like on the map. Okay. We might have to climb up and down for it to be able to register the difference. Oh, nope, there we go. Okay, so we can see everything around here. And really, there is not that much other than this cave. Um, we can wait a little bit longer. I'll wait another half hour. And we'll just see if we can see any further. Looks like that's probably around about the same amount. Yep, I think that's the case. Okay, so we want to climb down, but we want to try and do so safely. Ah, uh, please don't get injured, Hilma. Let's see climb down god damn it yep the weight the weight of our possessions and whatnot well that's frustrating uh very frustrating what can you do what can you do okay let's get back down to where ryan is ryan are we okay are we looking all right we're we feeling fine where are you? West? There we go. Okay. He is doing okay. So. If we are to continue travelling from here, and I think it probably would benefit us if we do, we're just going to head around following this tree line, just to see what else we can find. We are looking for craters, first and foremost. And I'm always wondering if it's worth us. Yeah, I think we're going to bandage our head, and we're going to bandage our torso because those are the most valuable things to us. We need those to live. Uh, we're in intense pain, so we might just drink Willabark tea. It's going to make us sick. We're probably going to throw up. That will help with the pain. For now, we are just going to ride on. Oh, we've got a crater. We've got a crater. Okay, let's spin back around. We are going to have to ride past a wasp hive again. But at distance, they shouldn't really care about us. At least that's the hope, and ah, it's a nice big crater. Well, it's half of one. So, let's start to slow down, and uh, we're going to have to get into our climbing attire, which ain't much. It's actually nothing at all. So, Hilma, let's get to it. All right, that should be okay. We're going to leave our hat on. Um, let's see what we got going on down here. We're just going to peek first of all. Looks like a normal layer. There is this one area here, though. That's fine. So, climbing down here, we should be A-OK. -okay. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? To be fair, it did say that that ledge looks like it's best left alone. Why though? Because we're not, we're not heavy. We're not weighed down at the moment. It could be that we're in severe pain and our strength just isn't any good. We can't afford to fall again. Our athletics isn't amazing. Yeah, no, it, it really isn't. Uh... But then again, this is just, that's just for swimming. It improves your overall cardio and fitness, for sure. But uh, that's not great. That's not great. Okay, um, we are, are we starting to fix the tea? No, we're not. Okay, so 
we are going to we're going to drink some more of the Willowbark tea. We're going to let that take effect, and uh, I I think the bandages are completely ruined. Yup, seemingly. We've only got three left at this point. We we just we actually we can't afford to fall. I don't know if I can avoid that though. If I if I peek, the ledge looks too dangerous to mess with. Okay, was it is it specific to that type of ledge? Like I don't know if I don't know if we've seen that before or not. I think it probably does have to do with strength. So we're just gonna try and wait out a bit of time here. Of course, being aware that we do have wasps <laughs> that are close by, if we need to, we will just peace out of here. We're gonna keep safe mode on and just keep waiting a little bit. Okay, well, we waited half an hour. We're still in severe pain at the moment. Don't really seem to be under any kind of pain-killing effects from the Willow Bark tea, so we're gonna drink some more of that. We wanna be sure that we're not overdosing. Yeah, see, uh, painkillers, we've got them going now, so that will be kind of helping. Right, we spotted a giant wasp, so we're just gonna back up a little bit here. Yeah. Don't get any closer than that, friend. It is attacking something. Gargoylosaurus. I'm sorry, what? Okay. Ha. Huh. Yeah, Helmet, we might be out of luck here. We're not going to be able to climb, not while we're feeling this crap. So, I think we're just going to have to take our successes where we get them. And this morning was most certainly a success. Not only did Pony make it back in one piece, but we managed to save the life of Cheryl, who, without Hilma's aid, might not have made it. And I've also just noticed that there is another crater here, so I somehow, I somehow missed that as well. Two craters. We definitely want to return here. We need to make sure that we rest and recover first. And we might even want to have a look into making like a grappling hook if we can. Can we make anything like that? Grappling hook, okay. I don't, I was spelling it wrong apparently. Useful for keeping yourself safe from falls. So that is something that we're going to need. Eight chunks of steel, one long rope. Interesting that it can't be a cordage rope, but that's fine. Yeah, okay. I, I think that's what we're going to, to need. Uh, oh, there's two different variations on it. This one, you need to have four grip hooks. Okay, I see. I will probably just make this variety. Yeah. Well, let's hope that Cheryl makes it back in one piece, and let's hope that Hilma makes it back in one piece, too. As she takes a moment here with Ryan, her body in pain after falling multiple times today. You can't win every battle, can you, Hilma? But we certainly did win some of them today. And Legion, I ask, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon who continue to make this cataclysmic content possible.